In this lesson, you will learn how to create a user story based on a feature. In order to create a user story, let's go to the backlog module. In the backlog module, I can work context specific. Currently, I'm focusing in the tree tool, the billing epic, and I only see here the data for the billing epic and all its features and user stories. If I click on backlog items, I see in the epic for billing, I have in total 12 backlog items. I can even drill down further by clicking on security and see only items which are on billing and the feature security. So this is a context driven approach which makes things easier for you to work with. So let's create now a new user story based on this feature. Select the feature and click on add user story. Here you can type the name of the user story, which typically is a summary. So let's say as an user, I want to activate two-factor authentication. I can select here the APIC, the release where this uh, user story need to be implemented the sprint in which this user story uh, should be implemented i can directly select it here if needed the milestone teams and also story points a description to that user story as well as task which i want to generate automatically by entering here let's say i have a template called uh, design is a task code and verify so these are the three tasks I would like to uh, generate once I add this user story. By clicking on add, this user story will be added. Add and edit is I will add the user story and go into the details. Add and another would be adding the user story and leaving this dialog open so I can add an additional user story. By canceling it, I will um, discard all the changes. So let's add and edit to see how this task generation worked. So you can see here some additional information I can fill out now in the details. Um, I can provide the team information, milestone and some custom fields I have defined here uh, if needed. I can also select the owner for this user story who should take care that this user story is delivered. So let's save it. And on the task, I should basically now see all the tasks which are created with this user story. And on the task level, I can also directly define who is the owner of this task and what should be the minimum implementation time people should, user should invest here. So let's say here we have two hours and Maybe we have another one. So these are the assignment for the task I've done. And now each of those users will receive a, a my work entry and an email if this is configured that there has been a task assigned to them which they should start working on. So basically this is a very quick intro how to create a user story. You can also add here comments if needed and also work on the workflow of this user story in order to start the implementation. After the user story is added, you can also see here the progress, uh, the test coverage if needed, um, and also how the investment uh, implementation is going on. And this will be again summarized on the level of the feature I can also see here the feature estimation, which was with 10 story points. And now I can already see 10 are already delivered. Still nine story points are remaining. So the estimation was not similar to the overall implementation. Uh, this is what you can currently see directly out of here.